In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to do elevations inside Lumia. My name is Katerina Magarden Designer, and I'll see you next. So welcome to another Garden Design Tools video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to do elevations inside Lumion. Okay, so basically, what's an elevation? Uh, an elevation is a, a, a normally a side view or front view. Um, if you have a house, we normally choose flat to one side of the house. So one side of the house straight look at you and it's a lack of perspective. Okay, so but that's basically it. You want it like a flat image, no perspective at all. And that basically shows you the elevation of um, of a uh, 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 part of a project or a house or, or not okay you can have section as well in section I think it's a, it's a great idea if you want to show a little bit of the interior design when you're using Lumion okay um, of the interior design of the interior of the house with the outdoors so sometimes uh, you can add a section okay I normally add a section if I want to or a cut through a clip plane okay if I want to cut through the uh, in this case a wall here okay so I'm going to do an elevation looking to this side of this particular model. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that in Lumion. So normally what I do is uh, I have a clip plane here. So as you can see, this is a great uh, in uh, the next video, I will do a plan view. So uh, this is great to do plan views as well, especially if you were if you wanted to show the interior of the house as well. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to put this here in the house or let's see here so I, I just want to you know just make it straight just guide myself by the swimming pool and of course you want 90 degrees uh, and I'll just move a little bit I want to show some more so now you just basically move along of what you want to show. So this is what uh, uh, straight away. There is a few things. So this is the view I'm going to want as an elevation. OK, like this more or less. So straight away, as you can see, it cuts through the clip plane and everything. It cuts to perfectly of all the models, everything that has to do with SketchUp models that you imported or other models. OK, so if if uh, if you see the furniture, it cuts through the furniture. So the furniture disappears and that's exactly what you want, like the umbrella, for example, in here. OK, it doesn't cut through plants. Uh, and, uh, you know, just you need that something you need to be careful for, because, for example, if I'm cutting through here, some of these bougainvilleas, they probably won't show in an normal elevation. OK, uh, so something you should uh, consider here is quickly select the plants that you want to hide. OK, so by pressing I'm pressing um, um, control key, sorry, on the keyboard. OK, I'm just going to press these plants. Um, I'm just going to do this quickly. I, it's just for you to 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 pay attention to these kind of things because it doesn't cut through or make the plants disappear. Anything that's from the actually Lumion library, it doesn't go through them. OK, so I just quickly add this to a layer that I'm going to hide. OK, so layer four. And after I just hide this layer. So when I'm doing my elevation, that plants don't show. OK, so I'm just going to quickly go through here and I'll add these renderings after in the end, just to show you guys anything that you imported from SketchUp or any other models that you imported, they disappear. It's just the plants from the Lumion library. They don't. OK, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, why that is, but that's the way it is. So, you know, just be careful when you're doing an elevation. Of course, in this case, I don't want uh, half pieces of lounges or something like this. OK, so I'm just going to go and just make sure that I have a better positioning of my clip plane. Just something like this will be cool. I don't want to cut through any furniture, to be honest. I just I just wanted that wall to disappear. And this is pretty I, I, I like elevations in Lumion. It's, it's really makes it really good to this one. I'm, I'm this here, this planter. 
um, not so much to my liking but it's okay now just for illustration purposes just to show you guys how to do it so this is the elevation side this is the view i want okay so we go to photo okay so this is the what i want and of course you make it straight looking straight to the house make sure it's more or less like you want horizontal you know just let's go back a little bit of course you can just you know one side to another just you know make sure it's more or less facing the wall of the house okay now really important is the focal length to the maximum so this is basically taking and now with the arrow on the keyboard i go backwards okay so this is basically taking all the perspective out of the 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 photo of the image okay and this is pretty cool i think it's a good idea to have this kind of um images from being lumion or twin motion it, it makes it great illustration in, in when you're presenting your work um let's just move up this guy is really slow so one thing you're going to notice is when you the focal length is to the maximum any movements anything is really really slow so that's why it's really important to to try and uh, try and and have as as close as possible to the uh, to the exact view uh, of that you want you're going to want to do the elevation okay because all the movements after they are really really slow uh, normally I even go back a little bit more because you can always cut this you know you can just cut this bit in in a, in a Photoshop or any other editor so you can cut this bit from down you know so you don't show all this underlying of the swimming pool and all this stuff so yeah this is it so normally what I do is just I just go and add the, uh, I'm in Lumion Pro 10 uh, so just make sure that you don't have all this fog because you quite far away if I'm going to show you now if I go to build mode and I show exactly the distance you can see here the distance I am from the model okay so and sometimes with certain uh, settings like the realistic one for example you have this kind of fog and it's just because of the, the way the sun is hitting that with this particular sky okay so just make sure you have the uh, a crisp uh, as crisp as possible um, sky uh, okay and um, just to you don't have this haziness okay just you know like you will do any other image just show exactly the best lighting possible uh, let me just check it out another one I always like to have some sharpness as well and of course the reflections are important so I'm gonna add this elevation just for you to check it out sometimes the automatic reflections they don't actually add all the so be careful with that as well they don't actually add all the reflections you might need so okay so you have now you can't see because the editor mode is in low resolution in here um but to 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 be uh, to the workflow to be a bit smoother but as you're going to see i'm going to add this elevation in the end of this video and it's a pretty great result it's great uh, a way to show uh, to show your clients uh, some details uh, and to illustrate your your project as well okay just don't forget that everything is really slow as you can see here i'm moving around and everything is so so slow um so that's why it's important to be as close to as possible to the view you want really but i, I really like this kind this kind of of uh, of imagery i think it's pretty cool okay so things to be careful for again um add pl the planting okay if i had that plant i'm just going to show you if i didn't hide that plant in that layer the plants that they were there okay just going to show you how it would look 
Okay, this is how it would look because that plant, it wouldn't hide that plant. I don't know why, uh, because as you can see here, it will hide all that detail of that uh, dining table there. Uh, something that I really want to show. So it's really important to be careful with just that details, okay? Because if it's a big project, you and you're thinking just about the sides, you want to do the elevations. If you don't hide the plants, it will be a mess after. And um, and after you have to go and you know hide the plants, uh, all the all the the plants you want. Okay. Um, if I didn't have the clipping plane, it would be that wall. So if sometimes you might want to use the clipping plane, sometimes you might not need to. Uh, but you know it's just uh, to cut through a wall in this case here. Okay. Uh, of course, this planter here is it's it's a bit in the way as well. So have uh, pay attention to that little details because you might want to add some of this stuff to a layer that you can quickly hide when you're actually doing the elevations. Okay. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is a short video. I will do something similar for Twin Motion next. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have some particular team you want to be in Lumion Twin Motion or SketchUp. Um, uh, I need to do some SketchUp videos. I don't do them in, for a long time now. Uh, but if you want to see something, just let me know. Okay. Bye bye, guys. See you in the next one.